folks, the drone has arrived. So 16, age 16 plus on here, Paul. I should think so, yeah. Isn't that a lovely box? Mmm. Let's open it up then. I know it's able to work out its position with um, two things. One looking at the ground by some sort of, I don't know whether it's infrared bouncing back. And the other one is using, um, what do they call it, GPS. It's got a GPS controller in it. So, um, able to locate itself fairly accurately in space so it um, should be stable in use not like some of the smaller ones without those features that I've read about okay outside of the box and uh, oh, look at this it comes in a little carry case that's a nice looking carry case it is isn't it that is uh, quite unusual for a product isn't it it's mm. all in there Mm. Little suitcase. Mm, really nice that. Easily fits in a backpack that. Yeah. And you want to take it uh, out for a walk and find some nice open space. Big fields of a public footpath maybe. Mm. Quality carry case as well. Bit of foam. Oh, that look nice. Heavy, heavy flat box. What have we got in here? What's on? Quick start guide and an instruction manual. Right. In English and German by the looks of it. Okay. That's the remote control unit. Right. Joysticks. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. And those things fold out at the top to put your phone on. Is that right? So you've got a display. Yeah, I'm not sure. What's in here? Must be the battery, mustn't it? Mm. Three separate pieces in there. Charger. Looks like a charger. Oh, these look like spur propeller blades, oh. or in case of breakages. Full set of four. Right. And this looks like a, a screwdriver. Some screws there. Charging cable. So drone itself. Mm. That's surprisingly heavy. Is it? Yeah. Uh, it comes with a battery in it. The battery's already in, is it? Yes, it is. And a few things you can see straight away on the... Uh, oh, that's the battery, isn't it? Yeah, so a lot of the weight's being made up by the battery. A um, couple of sensors on the bottom, the infrared transmitter and receiver. That's interesting. And uh, remote control uh, camera, which can be pivoted downwards mm -hmm. at any other angle. Okay. Considerably bigger when you unfold everything. So I suppose the next thing to do is to have a look at the quick start guide. Yeah. So we've got uh, a bit in the quick start guide about charging. So I suppose that's the first thing we should do. I suppose it is, yeah. Uh, so we've got a picture here, diagram. Drone battery goes into the charger. USB charging cable goes into a USB adapter and then into the socket pole. Oh, yes. Right, okay, got it now. So, the battery's in, the power light's red, the charging light's flashing green. Okay, so we've got to download this app, Ophelia Go. So, Paul's got the app downloaded now. 
So what does that look like for? Okay, let's turn the app on and see what it looks like on an Android device. Um, that's what it looks like. Right. So the battery is fully charged now. And so Paul's putting it into the drone. Should get a click. It's in. So the first thing we need to do is connect the smartphone to the Wi-Fi network and check the drone status status in the Ophelia Go app. Okay. Select the Wi-Fi network Holystone FPV. Okay, so I'll give it a short press. We've got green oh, lights. Just that playing happy birthday there. Green lights on the back and oh lights there. I didn't notice those. It's like a UFO. I suppose that might be yes it is, isn't it? Those are lights on the arms. Okay. So it's obviously on. So yeah. let's let's check and see if we've got that Wi-Fi network on the Android device now. And there it is. Right. So shall I connect to it then? Yeah. Okay. Connecting. Connected. Green. Okay. Launch the Ophelia Go application. The connection between your smartphone and the drone will be established automatically. So, Paul's launched the app and uh, the drone is now um, displaying what the camera's taking in there. Mm. So, next step is initialization detection. Place the drone on the le on a level surface mm -hmm. and it will enter the initialization detection. The red, green and yellow lights of the drone will alternate flickering for about seven seconds to complete the initial detection. When the transmitter sends out dee dee, the drone can be divided into two states. First use, the indicator light turns yellow and flash alternatively. Let's, what I would say those are alternately flashing yellow, wouldn't you? Front, back, front, back, front, back. Yeah. And what does that mean? Is that, is that first use? Yeah, the indicator lights turn yellow and flash alternatively. Okay, so that, so it just seems to provide in information, really. Mm. Um, so the next thing to do is calibrate the compass. Yes. Calibrating the compass. As shown in the figure above, push both of the joysticks down to the bottom mm -hmm. right at the same time mm -hmm. to enter the compass calibration. Okay, so we'll do that now. So bottom right, same time to enter the compass calibration. When the flash, that thing flashing that looks like a, a cross. Yeah. The icon appears on the LCD screen yeah. mm -hmm. in the state of slow flashing. Yeah. And the indicator lights turn yellow alternatively. Yeah. It indicates that the drone can start compass calibration. Okay, so that's alternate yellow and we've got the icon flashing. So we rotate it around three times, so it's all. Yeah, it says hold the drone horizontally mm -hmm. and rotate rotate the drone. In three complete circles, when completed, the green lights will flash. Okay, here we go then. One circle. Two circle. Three circle. Yes, green. Clever, isn't it? It is clever. So what's next? Step three, hold the drone vertically. Like that. And rotate the drone in three Complete circles. Okay. When completed, the front red lights and rear yellow lights will turn solid, and that that cross thing on the screen changes from slow flash to disappear. Calibration maneuver one, two times, and three times, and there we go. We've got red at the front, mm -hmm. solid green at the back, solid, mm -hmm. and the icon. On the LCD, which was here, is now it stopped. Yeah, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we now have so, some beeping as well. Yeah. Step is unlocking the motor. Please unlock the motor before takeoff. Short press the red button 
which looks like a lock. Okay. The motors rotate and the drone is unlocked. So I'm now going to unlock it with a short press and probably in a panic I'll be locking it again with a long <laughs> press. So here we go. Unlock with a short press. Woo! Something flew, flew off. It was just a draft of just paper. All right. Oh, that's that's good to know. So the, the motors are rotating, but there's only slowly no thrust and they've Look stopped. Toby. Mm. <laughs> so we're hoping that we'll be able to finish off this video by doing this. A one key takeoff and landing. After unlocking the drone, short press the uh, arrow, up and arrow, down button. Yeah, that's the takeoff button, one key takeoff, yeah. The drone will automatically take off and hover at five feet altitude. Mm -hmm. When the drone is flying, short press the same button, the drone will automatically land on the ground. Okay. So we've brought the drone outside now. We're going to try to do this five foot in the air test flight. I've got the phone here which is currently showing the garden pole okay. and the fence and a tea towel. Right, so I'm going to unlock it and we'll get it to take off. All right. Okay. So that's right. it. It's not turning around. It should turn around, shouldn't it, if it's unlocked? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was a bit rough, wasn't it? Uh, I think it? I did something wrong there. <laughs> creaser. Absolute creaser. That was better. You press the button, you know. So. <laughs> it's filming you. It's filming you. I um I unlocked it. Uh-huh. I made it take off uh -huh. with the take off button and hover. Uh-huh. Uh but it did drift the first time to the right hand side. So you were concerned that so it was I want, go over the fence. Yeah, or get into the bushes. So I wanted it to land. Uh -huh. So but instead of pressing the uh the land button, uh I press and held the lock button, which just turns all the rotors off oh. after three seconds. Oh I see. Which is why it just fell right. out of the air and bounced just, on the grass. Oh dear. But, it's a good job um, it wasn't much higher. Yeah. Don't do that, Paul. <laughs> it's a good job it wasn't much higher. It's a good job it was on grass as, with moss, yeah. So. Tomorrow um, we'll be uh, practising with it, won't we? Yes, we'll take it somewhere with some yeah, space. Yeah, take it with, out into some space, yeah. One thing uh, I, I could say about it is that it's a lot quieter than I anticipated. Yeah, yeah. A lot quieter. Yeah. So, folks, that's it for our first... Uh, Foray, is that the right word? Foray into the world of drones? Yeah, will you be able to sleep tonight? <laughs> the excitement of tomorrow, I think so. Yeah. Hey, I'm not kidding, yeah. it's exciting stuff. It is. Okay, so folks, we'll see you tomorrow again where we take this uh, out, outside somewhere where we've got more space and see if we can go on a test flight, eh, Paul? Yeah.